Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to talk about specialty sections. And what is a specialty section? Well if we go down there's sort of sections that allow you to put uncommon sort of grids in there. So we've got three and one and two and one and one and one all in the same section there. And what it really does is let you put rows within rows which is really handy for, for doing different sort of grid structures. So let's enable the visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. And here we are. What I'll do is I'll hit this little orange button. Usually that button's blue for a section, but because I've got a specialty section above here, it's orange. So I'm going to click on it. And there it is. You can choose regular, normal sort of section, a full width section, or this one, especially specialty section. And they've got several styles to choose from here, which covers most of the bases that you're going to need. For instance, let's put in this one. And what you're going to notice is it prompts you to put in a row. And this middle row being the widest, it'll allow you to put one, two, or three columns in it. So let's select three columns. And there we are. And just like any other one, it's going to prompt you to put in some modules. So let's put in three little text modules, perhaps. And I'll just clone it and drag one over. And clone it again and drag one over just to demo. So you've got three small little columns there, which is great. Now we've also got two columns on the side that we can do pretty much what we want with. So we could add some images or something here. In fact, let's do this. I'll just copy some of these images up the top here and we'll drag them down. I'm just hitting the clone button, the two squares there. And as you can see, it's cloning them. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag our copies down just to demonstrate. There we go, and let's plop one over this side as well. And of course you just keep adding modules, whatever it is you want to add down there. Put a little call to action in there. Now we can add another little row if we want underneath here, and instead of having three columns, we can have two columns. an icon and similar here there we go I'm just throwing these in and now we could probably put another picture down the bottom there let's copy this one and we'll just drag him down here and there we go very quickly we've got a sort of nice looking little grid here obviously i haven't put much thought into it you'd want to do more but you can get some fantastic grids and work out things that perhaps you have awkward shaped images or you've got text that you want to put here there and everywhere the speciality rows allow you to do that quite easy and once again like i say it's a little orange icon once you've got one of those rather than the blue icon that you usually have for a section if i put a regular section in here I won't put anything in it but if I go down you'll see we've got our little blue button back there for a regular section but we're going to have that orange one for a speciality section so there you have it there's speciality sections for you or specialty sections however you like to say it it does help you to make some interesting layouts for your site and that's a really nice feature just save make sure everything's going to look okay on the front end Yeah, absolutely fine. And of course, if you have content ready and images ready, throwing these things together like I did takes absolutely no time at all. And of course, if you want to, you can make this thing full width, but that works fine for me. So there you have it, guys. There's specialty sections for you. 
I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.